What's up YouTube and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow running on the Galaxy S1 GT9000. As you can see, Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, here it is. And of course the game is fully working. Well of course we're talking about the custom ROM for the uh, Galaxy S1 as Android 6 is not uh, supported. This ROM includes a lot of uh, features. Performance. The stock is 1 GHz, 100 MHz CPU speed. I've raised it up to 1.4 uh, MHz, which is 1.4 GHz. Minimum speed, you know what, let's put it on 100 MHz. A lot of people have told me, um, Interactive is good, user space is better. Actually, you can uh, set it to user space or interactive as well, it doesn't matter. So, the ROM is actually working uh, pretty much great. I have a lot of, um, I've got only the stock uh, applications. I've already downloaded uh, Google Now, which is uh, fully working here. I'm gonna show you. Well, uh, a lot of features uh, of the Galaxy. Uh, of Android 6 uh, are fully working here, such as uh, Google Now feature. Of course, the Play Store is updated. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time because my internet connection is uh, slow. <coughs> Amazing thing, okay, see, version 6.0.5 of the Play Store. Amazing things. The amazing thing is that um, I don't, I didn't have any uh, first close yet or any freezing of uh, this version, which is uh, pretty much awesome. I thought I'm gonna have, uh, you know, a lot of uh, freezing or something like that. Oh, this ROM is also support uh, multi screen. Let's see how it works. Um, okay. Tada! As you can see, multi screen on the Galaxy S1. As you can see, multi screen on the Galaxy S1 uh, is enabled and fully working. So if you want to use it, you can. And that's how you exit it. So let's go to settings again. Oh, another thing. Multi user, you can't you see it. Multi user is enabled and fully working here on this uh, version. So you can just uh, create a user and uh, here. Advanced. Oh, let's go. I've I haven't shown you yet. Okay, this ROM includes tons of settings. Let's go to advanced. Storage read ahead. Backlight timeout. Right back, you know, a lot of settings. You can uh, change whatever you want. Voltage to control to those who wanna um, overclock the device and uh, change the voltage. Overvolt or undervolt. You can do whatever you want. You have also memory, memory settings, um, I actually uh, don't understand this thing so I wouldn't touch it, if you don't know what you're doing, don't play with it. So as you can see the ROM is smooth, it's working very good, full screen. So as you can see this ROM includes tons of options. Uh, which is actually very very good if you're looking for download link uh, just uh, see the this video description you can uh, find there everything
You also have buttons control, you can uh, change it to whatever you want.